Set to Reflect are a hardcore slash metal band from Akron, Ohio. And after a long waited three years, they are putting up their debut full length entitled Artificial Sun. So let's get to it. The album starts off strong with pacing in a panic room. Now this song is really cool, it's a great start to the album. Uh, it's a really fast song and it starts out with some really heavy instrumentals and fast paced vocals right from the get go. It has a really great uh, range of screens so it gets you right into uh, the start of this album as well as has a cool clean chorus in this song as well. More Than Familiar and I'm The One Who Knocks are actually two songs from their uh, EP they put out last year in 2013. Uh, they didn't re-record them or anything, they just took them from it and put them on the full length album which is really awesome because uh, for any Breaking Bad fans out there, uh, I'm The One Who Knocks is actually a reference to the show so I, I thought that was pretty cool, they're fans of the show and they like a lot of TV. Uh, another one, More Than Familiar, is probably one of their best songs to date. I really love this song, it has everything you could be looking for, especially on this album. Uh, it's really fast paced, really good from the get go, great cleans, and uh, as soon as the song starts, the scream gets you right from the start. It's just an awesome song. Another old set to reflect song that was actually re-recorded for this album was one of the first songs they ever put out called Cycles. Now, uh, this is actually one of my favorite songs because when I first uh, heard it uh, back in 2011 I thought this is really awesome. They re-recorded it and the new version is way better. I mean you can tell there was a huge improvement in the band both with uh, Tony's vocals and overall as an instrumental sound. It just sounds way tighter and it's so so good. A Liar's Breath. Now this actually showcases more of Tony's clean vocals. Now uh, for those of you who have never listened to this band, they have a great uh, set of screams. Uh, Tony is a great screamer and clean vocals are lesser seen in some of their songs and this song actually showcases more the clean vocals, you know, there's both screams and cleans, but this kind of shows more of how he has a, a really good clean singing voice. I really enjoy his uh, vocals um, because they're more of like a high pitched sound, but they're really catchy along with the instrumentals, you know, the, the pitch of his vocals are really nice and it just gets you going, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't matter really what song, but this song can make you feel like pumped up as well as kind of connect with the song because some more, uh, sorry, some clean vocals are just, you know, connect more with them on an emotional level and this song does a really good job of that. The only place to go from here is Back the Way We Came. This is the longest song title I've heard in a while and it's actually probably, uh, well it's the, funny enough, the long song title is the shortest song on the album as well as one of the heaviest songs. This is just a minute long and features some just really heavy stuff and uh, the instrumentals are just non-stop throughout this song, really violent instrumentals, you know, just really hit you, it's really hard, you know, it's really awesome. And uh, the screams, just full out screams, no clean vocals in this song. So if you want to get angry and get heavy, this song is for you. So as the album comes to a close, it actually features some pretty awesome tracks. Uh, the last two are actually, we'll talk about the first one, uh, is the title track called Artificial Sun. Now, uh, as I said earlier, there was a song that featured more clean vocals than screams, but this song just features all clean vocals. It's really nice. It's more of a slower paced song, and I really like the uh, guitars on this one. They're really clean and just really nice to listen to. And uh, hearing the vocals on this just fully clean, there's a little, a little bit of uh, raspy kind of clean vocals at some point, but still, full on clean vocal song. Some of my favorite things to hear from like more metal or hardcore bands, you know, it's really fun to listen to these kind of things. And there's actually guest vocals on this. I'm not sure who or, uh, who it may be. Uh, it sounds either like a woman or a child, but uh, I think it's really cool and kind of, uh, sorry, really interesting how they fit it in to this song. You know, it's a really cool little spot they do. I think it's like two points of the song they bring them into. And uh, yeah, it just makes for a really interesting and standout track on this album. The album finishes with Catharsis. Now, this is like many other tracks on the album. Uh, it's very strong. You know, it has this great mix of heavy instrumentals, you know, some really good screams and, and some clean vocals, you know. And I think that it's a pretty good way to end the album. And overall, I think they had to switch tracks. I think the slower sign might have been a bit more cool to end the album with, you know, going really heavy and then finish it at a slower pace, you know, to calm people down from hearing such an epic album like that. But either way, yeah, Catharsis is a pretty good song. Set to Reflect are actually some good buddies of mine. They are one of the first bands I connected with when I started YouTube back in 2011. And uh, I uploaded their first two songs back when, uh, yeah, I first got in contact with them. And I'm just so happy to see these guys, how they've grown over the span of just over three years. Uh, they got on a label last year, I think it was earlier last year. They got on Standby Records. 
and they put out their EP through that, which was uh, some of their older songs, a bit of new material, and it was just really awesome. I thought the EP was stellar, and I couldn't wait for this full length, and I'm just smiling from ear to ear because I could not be more proud of a band. Uh, these are some really great guys, hard-working musicians, and I think if there's an album you need to pick up this month or this year in general, make it Artificial Sun because this album is stellar. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. I just probably broke some, but whatever, I don't care. Uh, this is stellar. Just this, listen to this album. Go. Uh, I'll post the tracks that are released so far down below, and you can go listen to the EP. I'm gonna give you all the information, Facebook, merch now, all that good stuff down below. Uh, just go listen to what you can right now. Then go listen to the full length when it's released next week. I promise you will not be disappointed. Any fans of bands like Under Oath or you know those first metalcore bands or post hardcore bands you would get to back in the day, like. Was it 2006 or 2007 I started? This is what takes me back to those kind of bands. Cassette to Reflect have just such a great sound. You know, they're heavy and they give me fast pace, and I just feel like I can connect with this band. Um, Tony, their singer and screamer, his vocals have improved immensely over a few years, and I know he's worked really hard on it. So go out and listen to this. I've said it probably four times already, and yeah, I'm just really stoked on this. I really hope you guys like this review and like the album. Tell me what I'm going to see reviewed next down below. I got a couple uh, that are coming out this month that I've already written up some stuff for. Hoping to film in the next few days. And uh, yeah, so let's get talking down below about what albums you want to see next and how you feel about Set to Reflect as I use their music in like every video almost that I put out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, that's about it for now. Remember, it's music for today, music for tomorrow, music for life. Peace out.